What up guys, it's Grand Comics here and today we'll be reviewing the Uncanny X-Men 176 Boom right there with Cyclops Cool Cyclops cover, it's very cool I got this from uh, Chris, like I said in the previous uh, video Yesterday's video I said I got the other comic It was like a, it wasn't Flash But it was another one I believe was Supreme Power So it was two videos ago and I got this from that pack, like I said in the Supreme Power video. No, it was Ultimate Fantastic Four 2. Sorry, I'm getting like all confused. I got a lot of comics from Chris. So uh, the first one I got from him that I did a video of was Supreme Power. And then it, it was Supreme Power 4. And then it was Ultimate Fantastic Four 2. Now it's this one. This, was, this is from 1983, I believe. Yeah, 1983, so early 80s. It's a very late issue of Uncanny X-Men. I love this cover not only because it has a squid attacking Cyclops, but it has like a cracked like cover, and I absolutely love it. I love this kind of cover where the title is like, I want to say interacts with the, the idea, like how Cyclops is shooting the X-Men logo and it's like cracked and stuff like that at first I thought was like uh, someone drew the X-Men thing but if you really look right there you can see like the cracks right there so that's how you know it. the artist really did well stuff like that so this is the first appearance of Valerie Cooper she is like a secret I think like a secret agent or a lawyer that uh, is against the X-Men and she is basically um, in court and she's asking these people to um, not really destroy the X-Men in particular but mutants in general because she was like oh mutants used to be good guys and now that we have now she thinks that mutants are bad guys and they're taking over the world and stuff like that so she kind of wants to like eliminate the X-Men but um, I guess she and then she forms I don't know if she forms, but she, yeah, she forms a group of people who later become the X Factor. So after the X Men was, I think was X Factor, and after X Factor was X Force, or maybe it's X Force, then X X Factor. But um, yeah, she forms the X Factor, and um, I guess the X Factor is a replacement for the X Men. I don't know if you guys are comic book big huge. If you've been collecting comic books for a long time let me know if the X factor is like kind of like the X-Men but not really or are they different to the X-Men I think they're similar a little bit because they are mutants same with the X-Force I think X-Force are mutants but like different or newer but yeah this is a very cool cover and a lot another thing I like about this cover is that Jean Grey and Cyclops, Jean Grey who is obviously Phoenix, goes on this like trip and they're on a plane and uh, um, it gets ruined because the, air, the, the airplane that they're on breaks, breaks down and they have to fix it and stuff and um, like this cover there was a big squid who attacked, uh, well first they attacked Jean Grey and Cyclops basically tried to save her but Cyclops got attacked by the squid his glasses came off and obviously you guys know X-Men Cyclops if he opens his eyes the, vi the laser will come out of his eyes so he closed his eyes like that until he you know until he got he grabs his glasses and then he started attacking he opens his eyes and he starts to attack the squid and stuff like that and he loses his regular glasses, but he get when he gets back on the surface, he finds his visor, and this that's what it is like his visor. Um, and he starts just shooting at the squid, and basically saves him and Jean Grey from you know from the squid. But it's like I think her name is like. Matilda or Melina or something like that or something like that it's not Jean Grey um, I think Jean Grey was Wolverine I believe right but um yeah very cool cover and I like I, I don't know if I said this before but I do like getting X-Men comics because 
uncanny X-Men from the 80s all the way until probably as much as X-Men's been around. X-Men has the biggest key key catalog ever. Uh, probably, I don't know if maybe besides Spider-Man or Batman, I don't know for sure, but I know for sure that X-Men has the biggest key catalog ever. Some are big keys. A lot of it is minor keys. This is a minor key. In this grade, if it's a high grade, I, which I think it is, it's a $4 book, so it's not too bad. But before I show you the interior, before I go, I'll show you the interior. I'll show you the first appearance. I'll show you uh, Valerie Cooper, who, which this is uh, <coughs> um, a cam uh, first appearance of, and you can see like the shadow of Wolverine right there. He's in his like, like on a blue and yellow <laughs> suit. Uh, let's see. Let's, let me just find. Okay, here is Valerie Cooper right here. This woman. So she does not have any superpowers. She's just like a, I guess, uh, authority or something. Or you know, those people who like sit behind a judge and says, "Oh, do you, do you uh, say not the truth and nothing but the truth?" Basically. The person who stands by the side of the judge. That's what she is. There she is right there. There again. But yeah, she doesn't really have any superpowers. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Like I said, maybe it's a good grade. I don't know exactly how much grade it is. But to me, it looks good enough. There's a small tear over here. Right over there. So there might be something, and there's like a few uh, spine ticks. Oops, I almost ruined it. Um, and this is like a, there's like dirt, so maybe it can be a 9-0 or 8-something. If it's a high grade, then I'm just gonna sell this for four bucks in my store. So that's cool, I can, I can deal with that, you know? But yeah, anyways, here's one last look at 176, right there, but yeah. Like I said before in a lot of my videos, if you guys have not subscribed to Grant's Comics and you watch this video, make sure you subscribe to Grant's Comics. Give this video a like and a thumbs up. So if you guys do subscribe to Grant's Comics, I'm trying to get my video to 100 subscribers. And if I do, I will do either a big unboxing or I will I'll film me doing a comic book haul or something at my local LCS or something like that. Or I'll, I'll do a big unboxing. Like something like that so make sure you get this to 100 100 subscribers make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed to grants comics but if you are subscribed to grants comics make sure you give this video a thumbs up and uh, make sure you share this video to the comic book community so i can get to 100 subscribers but that's it for now thanks for watching see you later all right